the street called the Sarabi store. And I did get to do a little bit for Srila Prabhupada by making him uh, dabs for his afternoon refreshment when he woke up. So the last year that Srila Prabhupada was here with us in Los Angeles, GBC came to another devotee and I named Bhaskara and asked us if we would like the devotional service of being Srila Prabhupada's bodyguard. They uh, had used us a lot in the past for taking sums of money to the bank like that. And for four or five years I had, I had carried a weapon all the time because of the rascals and things that had gone on in Nuvrindavan like that. So they knew I was experienced with this and one boy had done it the year before, tried to do it 24 hours a day, they didn't think that was appropriate. So they asked us if, if three of us would split the 24 hours up. So about the middle of the second week of doing this, this devotee Bhaskara, he and I had, we were hippies together, we had joined the movement together, all of our service seemed to, to coincide together. We were sitting having lunch and he was saying, uh, did you notice Srila Prabhupada, he does the same thing at the same time every day? And I goes, yeah, it's amazing, you can almost set your watch. He goes, well, do you know, someone gave him a, a brand new pair of slippers the other day and all he wears them is from his room to the curtain at the temple room and he takes them off. After class he puts them on and wears them up and takes them off at his door every day. And I goes, yeah. He goes, well, he says, they're brand new and I kind of looked at them last night and I got the model number and the manufacturer's name and I bought another pair just exactly like them. <laughs> um, well, well, what are you going to do with them? His feet are not the same size as your feet. And he goes, well, Tomorrow morning, he had the morning, I had the evening. He said, tomorrow morning when he goes down for class, he's going to wear his slippers down. I'm going to exchange them for my slippers. And then he'll wear my slippers back upstairs and I will exchange them again. And I'll have a pair of slippers that Srila Prabhupada wore. Maybe just, maybe just one time, but Srila Prabhupada will have worn my slippers. So I'm thinking, wow, that's a good idea. <laughs> I, said, I said, so tomorrow I'm going to go out and buy a pair of slippers and we'll do the same thing the next day. So the, next, so the next day we do our service, we get together at lunch and I says, well, did you get your slippers? He goes, yeah. I says, well, well, I says, where do I go buy mine? He says, you shouldn't do it. And I'm thinking, yeah, you got your slippers. <laughs> uh, so he says, no, he says, let me tell you what happened. He says, Srila Prabhupada put his slippers on in the morning and he came downstairs, he took them off at the door at the temple room. I exchanged them. After class, Srila Prabhupada came back out and put his slippers on, my slippers. He wore them upstairs and he wore them right into his room. He never took them off at the door. I'm going, really? I, I, what did you do? And he says, well, I stood there chanting Joppa thinking, what am I going to do now? <laughs> he says, I was there, he says, about five minutes and he says, this sannyasi came down and he says, is your name Bashkara? And he goes, yes. And he says, Srila Prabhupada has a message for you. He says, he wishes to thank you very much for the new slippers. <laughs> And you may keep the old slippers, <laughs> but most importantly, he said it is not nice to play tricks on the spiritual master. 